Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today's video, I am going to share with you this amazing recipe. This is a high protein, gluten-free, soy-free, allergy-friendly, vegan meatloaf. So guys, one of the most highly requested videos I get on this channel is to make more gluten-free and soy-free high protein recipes. And I read through those comments, so I got you. So I partnered with my friends at Longev Brands to bring you this amazing recipe. So Longev protein crumbles are high protein, gluten-free, and soy-free. So I created this amazing vegan meatloaf just for you. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is mix our ground flax seeds with some vegetable broth. We're gonna mix them until well combined and set them aside. This flaxseed mixture will work as the binder of our recipe. So this is a one pot recipe. So we're literally going to cook everything in one pot and that's it. So we're gonna start off by cooking our onions until they are translucent. Then we're going to add our celery and our carrots. So I've been cooking my celery, the onion, and the carrots for about two minutes now, and I can see that they're already pretty tender. So this is the point that I like to add my garlic, and I do a lot of garlic, so feel free to add as much or as little as you want. And my secret ingredient here, that is the pimiento, sweet peppers, that I get at the Latin store. It's completely optional, but it enhances the dish so good, so I highly recommend you to get one. Once everything is well combined, we're going to add our longev protein crumbles and our vegetable broth. We're gonna mix that all up until the longev protein crumbles absorb all of that liquid. You're gonna notice that it's going to double, sometimes triple in size. So here we have thyme, oregano, salt, some chili powder or cayenne pepper, and some pepper. We're gonna add our liquid aminos or soy sauce alternative if you want to keep this recipe gluten-free. And then we're going to add our garbanzo bean flour. So garbanzo bean flour is key ingredient to this recipe because it also will work as another binder and thickener in this recipe. Here's where you're going to slowly add it as you start mixing it. If you can't find garbanzo bean flour, that's totally fine. You can swap it out for either oatmeal flour or regular all-purpose flour. I personally love the garbanzo bean flour because it keeps this recipe gluten-free and high in protein. And then we're gonna finish off by folding in the flaxseed mixture. So you see how now it's kind of sticky. It's all binding together. This is exactly the consistency I want. And then Longev protein crumble will continue to absorb the liquid and it's gonna just cook perfectly. So now we're gonna transfer this to a baking pan. Make sure to preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Once the mixture is all well combined, we're going to place it in a silicone bread pan or a regular bread pan. Just make sure that if you're using a regular bread pan or loaf pan, you are using parchment paper or greasing up the sides just to prevent any sticking. Then we're gonna bake it for about an hour and after it's done, I like to throw on top a little bit of barbecue sauce. Any barbecue sauce will work. You can use the one on my website, fitveganchef.com. I will make sure to link it in the description box below. I like to spread it out evenly at the top and bake for an extra 10 more minutes. Before cutting, you need to be very patient and make sure that it's completely cool. Taste test time, which is my favorite. That is so good. And you guys must try this. Longev protein crumbles are amazing because they're gluten-free and soy-free. And did I mention they're just made from one ingredient and that is peas. So you guys must give them a try. Let me know if you tried this recipe in the comment section down below and what should I make next. If you would like to try out 
Longev Protein Crumbles, you can use my discount code Natalie at checkout, which saves you 20%. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big like, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.